Happy Monday, everybody. I know what you're thinking. Where's his hair? It's in the sink. Um, I looked at the calendar and I said, well, it looks like my next haircut isn't going to be for at least four weeks because the mayor just decided to make us stay inside until May 15th. So I just decided that I've never shaved my head. I've never cut my own hair. And I said, if I'm ever going to do this, I might as well just give myself the old quarantine cue ball. I think that's what I'm going to call it, the quarantine cue ball. So I assume it'll grow back by then. That's the idea. So anyway, um, if you're going to be, you know, looking at my hair instead of listening to me, I understand because it's definitely weird. Uh, looks like I missed a patch up here. All right. We're going to read. This is my Disneyland Starbucks mug. This is was purchased at Disneyland. They make Starbucks makes mugs for Disneyland. All right. We're going to get to reading now. We have a a pair of Ambrose Bierce quotes. They're they're both sort of a mouthful. Number 73. Man, an animal whose chief occupation is extermination of other animals and his own species, which however multiplies with such insistent rapidity as to infest the whole habitable earth and Canada. Hmm, quite a mouthful. 74 by Ambrose Bierce as well. Woman, an animal having a rudimentary susceptibility to domestication. Sorry guys, I know this is an old quote, so none of the Me Too people get angry at me here. The species is most widely distributed of beasts of all beasts of prey. The woman is omnivorous and can be taught not to talk. Eh, this is some backwards ass shit. All right, 75. Cabbage, a vegetable about as large and wise as a man's head. Ambrose Bierce. Okay, we got a, like a Bierce Fest going on here. Oh, number 76. This is by Robert Byrne, who is the gentleman who created this book. Um, you're going to find uh, that Robert Byrne has his own quotes, and part of me thinks he made the book just to stick in his own quotes. Anyway, 76, Robert Byrne. Memorial service. Farewell party for someone who has already left. I like that one. 77, another Robert Byrne, eunuch, a man who had his work cut out for him. Funny, funny, Benjamin Disraeli, 78, I hate definitions. Hmm. We're going to end it with a Dorothy Parker, another one of the great, great literary geniuses of her time, of all time. Number 79. The affair between Margot Asquith and Margot Asquith will live as one of the prettiest love stories in all of literature. All right, folks, I'm going to finish my coffee here, and um, I love you all, and uh, don't be too freaked out about the hair. Remember, it's called the quarantine cue ball. I think every guy should have it. What do you think?